Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long since I last uploaded. It's been like a month since I last posted and I'm so sorry you guys. I just never know what to film. I run out of ideas really quick so I never know what to film for YouTube. So if you have any suggestions, please comment them down below. It'll really help me out. So today I wanted to talk about my breast augmentation. Today is my four month post-op and there has been a lot of changes. So I want to talk about that and I want to give you guys tips if you guys are like thinking about getting a breast augmentation. So this is how my boobs look like at four months. They have dropped a lot. So I don't know if I mentioned in my first breast augmentation video that I couldn't feel my right nipple. It was like completely numb. But it's not numb no more. I, I completely feel it. Another thing that I wanted to talk about are stretch marks. And Lord Jesus, I should have been prepared. Um, my boobs are like full of stretch marks. And I'm so sad about it because before the breast augmentation, I had no stretch marks. But it's my fault because I didn't like apply cocoa butter or any like stretch mark cream. I would never like moisturize them so obviously with the big implant it stretches your skin out so obviously you're gonna get stretch marks so if you do plan on getting a breast augmentation please don't make the same mistake that i did and just moisturize your boobs cocoa butter is really good at um preventing the stretch marks and i did ask my surgeon if they would go away and he said that they're gonna fade over time and i have been applying cocoa butter to them and I don't see a difference yet. It's only been a couple of weeks that I've been applying cocoa butter. But, um, I feel like they're getting worse. Okay, so another tip that I have for you guys if you guys do plan on getting a breast augmentation is to always wear your surgical bra right after surgery because that's a mistake that I did. Like, a few days after surgery, I kept on going braless, like I was just wearing pasties because I was so excited and I would wear like low cut shirts. So obviously I didn't want to wear my surgical bra because the surgical bra makes your <laughs> makes your boobs look so ugly. They make them look so pointy. After surgery, your implants need to be held in place and it also helps oh, with the swelling. Without the bra, your boobs are going to get more swollen. One of my boobs is higher than the other and I don't know if it had anything to do with me not wearing the surgical bra but one dropped way faster than the other the one that had the hematoma in it which is this one um if you guys watched my first video it was the one that had that really nasty bruise this one after they drained me it completely dropped and this one was like up here so they were like this and for a while i wasn't wearing like open um open shirts because i was so embarrassed they look so funny so i would just wear like sweaters i think they're the same now actually but for a while, this one wouldn't want to drop at all. I don't know why. And I would always do those breast massages. And I would never see a difference. But I feel like until now, I see a difference. So yeah, you guys just have to be patient with the dropping and fluffing. I feel like now they're dropped and fluffed. And I really like how they look. Okay, so another thing is that um, it is true when surgeons say go bigger than what you want because once the swelling goes down, you're going to be disappointed because you get so used to how your boobs look like swollen and you start to like fall in love with them. And then the swelling goes down and you just get disappointed. Because when I first got my breasts done, they were really swollen and I loved the size. Now that the swelling went down, I kind of wish I went a little bit bigger. I got 360 cc's. I wish I would have gone like 400 cc's. I went from a 32A to a 32D with 360 cc's. Another question that I do get asked a lot is who my surgeon is and I went to Dr. Tunisia. He's located in Newport Beach and he also has an office in Pasadena. So if you guys go to him, tell him that I sent you. So I have more tips for you guys. While I was recovering, I drank Arnica tea and I took Arnica pills. Those are really helpful um, for the bruising and the swelling. It helps um, the bruising go down and it helps with pain as well. I have more tips for you guys. While I was recovering, I drank Arnica tea and I took Arnica pills. Those are really helpful um, for the bruising and the swelling. It helps um, the bruising go down and it helps with pain as well. So yeah, drink Arnica tea and take the Arnica tablets. And I also bought the Arnica pomade and I would apply it to like any swelling or bruising. It would really help the bruising go down. And for those of you wondering, I got high profile and they are saline. This is how my boobs look like with this top on. With these type of tops, your boobs are going to look a little bit more fake. So 
that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in my next video.